Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. Let's go to Dubai for today's daily challenge. Buildings will appear directly adjacent to destinations, and we won't get any motorways. Game, the game's kind of called Mini Motorways. Like, like the whole, the whole conceit of the game is the it's the presence of motorways. Okay, that'll be fine. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna set up the Wordle and Connections window real quick. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I just saw the connections for today. Oh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be so much fun. We got these greens here. They're doing all right. We're, uh, we're not gonna worry about that. Instead, we will say that I had a wonderful time last night playing Baldur's Gate 3, which remains an excellent video game. We are officially into Act 2. We've made it to Moonrise Towers. The cultists of the Absolute still think that we're friends, which is probably not what was intended to happen, but it's working for me so far. I just had to... Well, in order to maintain my friendship with the Cultists of the Absolute, I did kinda have to help them kill some poor stupid mooks who jumped us. And, uh, listen, I'm sure it was, um, it, it, it was expected that the player might assign with, align with the possibly uh, good aligned players, characters, and therefore have a difficult fight against the Dryder and Mork Ruffalo and all of their various muscular friends. But no, actually, uh, it turns out that siding with evil is easy and fun. <laughs> At least in that instance. Oh God, all right. Um, Siding with evil is easy and fun. We've been streaming for two minutes and we already have the title of the episode. Let's do this. I'm gonna kill this road. And I was gonna run the yellows up and over this pink business, but actually, I think what I'll do instead is just run the yellows around this way. So they'll go around here. And then these pinks will come out this way just as soon as we get that bridge back. Thank you very much. So the pinks go over here, the greens go there, and the yellows make that little hook, and that's much better. Hooray! We maintain our key principle of one business, one road. Ow. One business, one road, one ow. M many owls. Let's be honest with ourselves. There are going to be several owls. It's just a fact of life, really. But you take the good, you take the bad, etc. What? The cat is giving me the most judgmental look. Like, what? Oh, did you understand that terrible television reference? Hi. What is your deal? Look at me with your big wide cat eyes You're freaking me out anyway uh so we've got these four greens here i could very easily swing these two greens along like so actually yeah let's do that we're gonna restructure the yellow road again uh, actually we don't even need to redraw this bridge we can just hook the yellow road in and up like so it goes ever so slightly more detourishly and then it goes up this way I think Nora is mad that I won't let her go outside and eat the birds and I mean I stand by that decision outside is a bad place for cats and also it's mean to the birds For lack of a better thing to do, or another bridge, I'm just gonna extend this road here, and we're gonna ask these seven houses to keep both of these businesses happy for a minute. I think that's basically gonna be fine. Uh, let's take another bridge. And now, I have this yellow business up here with which to deal. 
Hmm. I think... I think I know the answer here. Or at least the answer I'm going to take. We're going to do that. We're going to run these two yellows like so. They're going to come slip through this gap here and go off this way to support this business. Now I would very much, yes, I do like that another yellow has spawned here. That's good. If I can get one more yellow house to spawn, maybe like here or here or fuck it here. I mean, a yellow house spawning here would just be great. But one more yellow house along this road I would be happy with just because I'm a little nervous about this circle having only four houses. But, you know, that's a problem for future me. Present me has to deal with this beige business. The beigeness is mm, not necessarily excellent. All right, you're gonna come up here. We're gonna put a perfectly cromulent traffic light right there. I'm not really in love with this whole plan, but for right now, at least, it's going to be okay. Give it until Monday. Hopefully, we'll get another bridge and we'll be able to just hook the beiges around. That would be ideal. Give me another bridge. That is not another bridge. All right. I'll take a roundabout. Uh, rather than have these beiges spawn on this road, I think what I'm going to do is have them come up this way and then boop there and traffic light. Because if they're spawning on this road, then everybody's getting in everybody's way, like you saw right there. That's not good. We don't want to do that. So we want to maintain as much as we can. We just want to have everybody spawns out this way. Everybody spawns out this way. You have one little merge point and then one little break point. And that's basically fine. This traffic light is not always going to be green, but it should mostly be green. Same deal with this light. So it's not really going to slow traffic down too, too much. He says watching it slow down traffic a little bit, but overall it's better than an unlit intersection. Purple guy. Purple guys. Awesome. Alrighty. Um, well, if I get a bridge, this is actually just fine because we can do this. And while we're worrying about that, let's do this. Sorry about that, tree. It, it's Dubai. Trees are a precious resource, and yet uh, we just smashed into one. It's unfortunate. Here, give me a bridge. Good. All right, so these pinks right here are going to go take care of that business. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. This purple nonsense shall be situated thusly. Come down this way go out that away. Uh, if it's just going to be these two yellows here, we can cut that corner like so. That's going to be a little bit better. Let's continue making everything at least a little bit better. This pink comes up this way. Now we have five pinks going over there. That's cool. This yellow here spawned in an unfortunate position. There isn't really a great thing to do with that. These two yellows, hmm. You know, actually, if you go that away, I can take these two and swing them around town. Bring them around town. Then you do this and this. And that and this and that and this and that and then these two yellow houses go over to this yellow business that should basically be fine basically we've still got five servicing this circle this beige has gone circular which is bad not not a big fan of that but you know really not a fan of any of this at the moment. Oh, hey, another purple. I'm a fan of another purple. Another purple being here for this business, that's a good thing. We'll take that. Give me another bridge, thank you. Uh, being so very nicely bridged, I think it's time that we separate our beiges and yellows. 
you can come up this way, swing in like so. We'll kill that connection. That does reduce the number of houses we have taken care of. Game. Game, why did you... Game, I had a perfectly good... Well, that's an annoyance. All right, uh, well, we can have this greenhouse spawn right here, and then there's no good traffic light to, to, to fix this, so we're gonna put a roundabout, I guess. That's something. Here's two green cars that can come at least keep this green business alive for a minute. I'm not necessarily in love with the concept, but oh hey. Okay, all right. Okay, problems problems aplenty all of a sudden. Let's see here. So you're gonna go up like that. Uh, you are gonna go up like that. That's gonna have to be fine. I've got these greenhouses here that are kind of doing something. Yee. This roundabout over here has suddenly become much more integral to my road planning than I was planning, actually. Um, that should be fine, question mark? It probably won't actually be fine. You know what would go, real, go down real smooth here is a fucking motorway. You know what I'm not gonna get by dint of the laws of the daily challenge is a fucking motorway. So, that's bad. Here, give me another bridge. All right. Now that I have another bridge. Okay, we have another bridge, which means I have another idea. Let's kill this roundabout. We're gonna kill that. This green business has been doing just fine with just the one house. You're gonna continue having just the one house. This road is gonna come off like here. This road is gonna get re-straightenated. We'll put a traffic light right here. So this is now a little bit better. Unfortunately, we do still have just six beige houses supporting these two beige businesses, but I can not really do anything about that TBQH. What if, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I have a stupid plan. Well, I have a stupid idea. I wouldn't even go so far as to call this a plan, but I do have a stupid idea. What if we take these beiges here, run them like so, traffic light here. This is a perfectly cromulent traffic light. However, Getting these beiges onto this road could conceivably, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I think I know this one. If we run beiges up there, purples down here, everybody go. So these two purples service this business, these three purples service this business. These three beiges share a road right here. You can share this road, go up this way, get through this purple neighborhood, go over to this beige business. Huh. I mean, it's definitely weird and funky, but, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, various bastard children. Huh, <sighs> okay. Well, that's bad. I don't know what you want me to say. Let's see here. If I were the king of the forest, no. If I had a million dollars, no. So, this circle over here is well-rounded. It's great. We can do this, sort of. 
Uh, you desperately need help. Okay, it is Sunday, though. Can I, can I make it through? Well, this is going to be bad. We might be in trouble here. I may have waited too long. Give me a bridge, and then we're immediately going to pause. Okay, so these two yellows here are going to join this green on this road. They're going to go this way and then snake around like so into this business. This yellow business is fine. Now we need beiges to get up here. The beiges that would be getting up here are coming from here, actually. Shit. Shit, 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 and shove me in it. Okay. We're gonna have to redraw this purple road. This purple road is gonna need to come like so and snake through this little cluster up here. We're gonna have to snake it around like that. But we can do that. Having done that, assuming that we're going to do that, rather, we can also get these beiges up this way. And now these beige houses can support this business. This purple business is going to be mad for a minute, but actually, hold on, I can't do it that way. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I cut this corner too, kite, too tight for these beiges to accommodate this purple. Shit. Okay, we're going to have to cut that for a moment. That's going to be fine. We're going to have to cut that. If the beiges ever get to a spot of not being fucked, we can redo this. But that's going to require having multiple bridges handy and this beige business not just dying in a minute. And I don't think either of those are the case. I think actually that beige business just died and I've failed the daily challenge because I left a business untreated for too long and we crapped out at 767, which isn't a particularly good score. It's top 45% in the daily challenge, but Sam was number four in the world. So, you know, drop those samurai slams in the chat if you've got them. Oh. Oh, failure is mine. The failure is all mine. Let's bring in our friend Wordle. Failure, sadly, is a seven-letter word, and therefore we cannot use it. Uh, fails is a five-letter word, but it's also the plural form of a four-letter word, so it's not going to be the Wordle. Alas, well, it could be world. It's not, but it could have been, and we learned a thing. It could be drink. Could absolutely be drink. It's again not, but again we'll, we'll get there. Uh, it could be uh, deary. There you go. That's kind of a word. Kind of. All right. Uh, I think we've sussed out that the last letter is R, right? Because R can't be the third or fourth letter, so it has to be the fifth, which means we're looking at that. And the question now becomes, what the hell replaces those X's? And that is a question to which I don't exactly have an answer at the moment. It could be demure. Actually, yeah, I think it... it wait, is that a six-letter word, though? It's like... Yeah, it's a, it's a six-letter word. It's a silent E at the end of it. Which raises the question of what the hell a demur is. Is it like a femur that improved its grade? It's a slightly smarter thigh bone. Slightly smarter thigh bone might be the title of the episode. No, I think I still like siding with evil is easy and fun. <sighs> well, okay, so we can't be like deeper. That's a word. Uh, it. If there's going to be, is it defer? Like, you know, you, you've won the toss and elected to defer. That sort of thing. Well, that there is a second E there. But now, could be deter, as in, you know, tell you know, make someone not do a thing. All right. Is it deter? It's deter. Thank God. Okay. The Wordle in six. We'll 
take it. Criminy. So I mentioned at the top that Connections is, uh... Oh, boy. And, um... Well... Connections is kind of who boy today. Four groups of four with all of these movie titles, which, okay. Why, Connections? What, why have you decided, okay. So, let's see here. What do I know about these movies? Octopussy's a James Bond movie. I think I saw another one of those. Did I? No. Some for Space has found that there are four with measurements. Hedwig Hedw the Angry Inch, The Longest Yard, The Green Mile, My Left Foot. Okay. Those all have measurements. That's true. Ending in units of measurements. Okay. And you know what? Uh, Manhattan, Wall Street, Chinatown, and one more of these probably contain, are probably named after places in New York. I don't know. There are people from New York who watch this show, right? Is Octopussy a neighborhood in New York? No? Do you, do you go down Kill Bill Avenue in New York? No? Okay. Well, was a thought. Could be Foxy Brown, like Brown Street, Brown Derby, Dumbo Drive, New York City. No? Okay, fine. I'll stop. I'll stop. For now. Shit. Uh, Dogma Beetle... Okay, Dogma, Beetlejuice, Octopussy, those are, those all have animals, and Foxy Brown, they, they have, they have animal titles, aha, 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 we'll get there, eventually, um, okay, let's see here, that was the purple, E.T. is something with an alien and a bicycle and the moon, uh, that doesn't help much. Kill Bill is a two-part slasher flick with, uh, well, slasher in the sense of uh, the lady has a sword. Not so much your stabby horror movie slasher. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm trying to think of what I know of these movies, and it's a problem because I've seen two of them. Both of them when I was children. So, when I was a child. I was never children. It doesn't work like that. Uh, E.T. Fright Night Kill. They do rhyme. This has been Sunflare Space Solves the Connections because it's too confusing for the underscore gook. But I think you're right. E.T. Kill Bill Fright Night Be Kind Rewind. Those all rhyme. So what is the fucking connection with Wall Street, Dumbo, China? Yeah, Wall Street, Chinatown, and Manhattan are parts of New York. Is there a Dumbo in New York? I don't... Dumbo is a place in New York City. Okay. I have a question, Connections. I have a question, Connections. What is Dumbo? Dumbo is a neighborhood in Brooklyn. Okay. Okay. Apparently Dumbo is a neighborhood in Brooklyn. This has been a thing the Goog Googled in 2024. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I have a running thread of those. I'm absolutely going to add Dumbo New York City to the thread of things I have Googled in 2024. Today's theme is by the dozens for strands and uh, let's let's find our donuts, I think. D-O-U-G-H-N-U-T-S. Yep. So the Spangrum is donuts. Mmm, donuts. It's the epitome of the Homer Simpson, but uh, it, it fits. Uh, here's jelly. That's true. Uh, this is this is just elted. It's not melted or belted, sadly, but it, it, it's delted. Did it did it work out in the gym? No. Okay. Fine. Jerk. 
Uh, huh. Uh, so where's the G? There it is. Glazed over here. And powdered. Uh, cake donuts. Those are just donutty donuts. Uh, sadly, there is no Boston cream here. Boston cream donuts are the best donuts. Does that count as a hot take? That might or might not count as a hot take. Uh, frosted. And then there are two words in here. Is this just iced? Really? Is that, is that what we're going with? It's iced? Yeah, come on. I C E. No, you're not even. Okay, so they've they've tweaked the programming that you can't even cross over. It used to be. I don't think they ever made a word that did this, but you could go like Bing and then make yeah make this X actually. But uh, yeah, they never do a word that actually makes that X. So interesting. Have they? I thought they didn't, but. Maybe they did. Maybe I'm forgetful. Uh, what are the two words that are wrapped up in this collection of nine letters here? Uh, C H. It's not crawler. It's not chocolate. It's not delish or anything. It's not French. Uh huh. Game. Is it just donut hole? It's just donut hole. And then there are cider donuts. Okay. Okay. All right, fine. That's true. That's a good game of strands. And also now I want donuts. Fuck. Damn you. Damn you. What the fuck are cider donuts? They're donuts that are flavored white with apple cider. That's it. They're a, they're a they're a fall treat. They're they're a seasonal thing. You you make donuts with uh, flavorings of apple cider. They're good. They're tasty. They taste like uh, donuts mostly. I've never really had a a cider donut that tasted like cider, but you know, it's fine. They're good. We need for today's edition. Of the Immaculate Grid, Twins, Angels, White Sox, Phillies, Dudes Who Had a 300 Batting Average Season, and Dudes What Got in the Hall of Fame. There are one, two, three, four, I think five squares on this grid where Jim Tomei fits. Actually, I'm not sure about the 300 average season. That's, um, by the time Jim Tomei was on the Twins, he was not at his best, and even at his best, he was not a super high batting average guy. So probably just four squares on this grid where we can use good old Jimmy Thom. Uh, let's pop him right there. Jim Tomei. He was a twin. He was also on the White Sox. It's, uh, yeah, more than a quarter of the people who got that square used Jim Tomei for it. Reasonable. A Philadelphia Philly who is in the Hall of Fame is Bang Pedro Martinez. Don't actually do that. He's married. A dude who played for the White Sox and is in the Hall of Fame is... I mean, Frank Thomas is the obvious one. J.B. Boyer did not play. He did play for the Phillies. I don't think he played for the Angels or Twins, so we won't be using Jamie Moyer on this grid. Uh, a dude who played for the White Sox and is in the Hall of Fame is Nolan Ryan. Not everybody remembers that Nolan Ryan played for the White Sox, but he... What do you mean he didn't play for the... I could have sworn Nolan Ryan played for the White Sox. Apparently I'm wrong about stuff. So... So I've got that going for me. <sighs> a dude who is in the Hall of Fame and had a 300 batting average season is Yogi Berra. Grumble, 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 complain. A Minnesota twin who had a 300 batting average season is, I don't know, that sounds like something Chuck Knobloch would have done. He was good. Uh, Los Angeles Angel of Anaheim, who had a 300 batting average season, is uh, Shohei Otani, I bet. He's, he's good at baseball. 
And Angel, who played for the White Sox, is Sean Figgins. I don't think Sean Figgins played for the White Sox. I don't think Billy Hamilton played for the Angels. Uh, Jack McDowell? I don't think Jack McDowell played for the Angels. He played for the White Sox. But, uh, sadness. Roberto Hernandez? The, uh, the, the 90s closer? No. All right, what about Roberto Hernandez, the former Fausto Carmona, who, as far as I know, played for the Guardians, and that's it. Oh, he didn't play for the Angels and White Sox? Shocking. This has been an immaculate grid, and you know what? It's only 7.30. Let's make Circle Master happy. We'll go to guess the dot game and try to guess a dot game with... <sighs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This appears to be a shot of a piece of string with a couple of little little aglet type deals on it. This is a screenshot from Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. That's what it is. Uh, Ma Mario and Sonic. No. Uh, Sonic and Mario? How, how do you... Mario... It's an Olympic game. It's, it's Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, damn it. No? No, am I wrong about that? Okay, fine. Uh, this is a screenshot from... Virtua Tennis. Four. No? Okay. Uh, it might be from that yarn game. I was going to say something like, it takes two. I hit skip and not submit. Well, I don't think it's Virtua Tennis. Given this, I don't remember this being in Virtua Tennis. Yeah, I think it's from one of those, Sam. It could be from Kirby's Epic Yarn. Kir Kirby's Epic Yarn, there. Yay! Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, like, I saw this and I was like, oh, it's from that game where you're a wool guy. And I thought, you know, it takes two or a uh, little big planet or something like that. But then I was like, no, actually, no, this is this is more Kirby than that. So yeah, it's uh, it's Kirby's Epic Yarn. Hooray. We've okay. So this is a much different thing. This is the same fucking background. Here's a little bit of the UI. Here's okay. This this is. If you don't get it from five, you're not gonna get it because this is obviously Kirby and this is obviously Yarn, and there's only been one game where Kirby and Yarn are are a thing. And here's just a video of of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Okay. This has been an episode of Good Morning Mini Motorways. We shall return tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock Eastern for yet another one. For the folks on YouTube later today, there is a new episode of The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Always fun. We are making our way through the trial of... I think we're into the trial of Magnus McGilded on YouTube. I don't know. I've done a bunch of editing, so I don't know where the YouTube uploads are at. But there will be more gimme mim mim, -mim. Gimimimim returns tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock Eastern. Until then, have a wonderful day, everybody. Goodbye.